So I think that the biggest thing to think about with research computing is people tend to think about it as high performance computing. They think about chemistry and astrophysics and engineering. And I think that that model is breaking down. We see more and more people, certainly from the life sciences, as we get things like cryo-EM, which is a new microscopy that can do um, atom level, um, atomic level resolution. Um, as we look at other instruments that are coming in in the life sciences, computing is going to be huge. But then um, as we look further ahead, social sciences are becoming some of our biggest users. They have large data sets they need to do a lot of analytics on. And the humanities have huge corpora of text that they need to analyze and they have images and, and lots of things. So I think that um, computing is going to continue growing across the academy.